There are other unexpected wonders in Egypt besides the Giza Pyramid. The discovery of the mummies is just one of the many astonishing things that Egypt has to offer us. Finding mummies may be commonplace given that it's an Egyptian practice, but those corpses are concealing something that will astonish you. What sinister things are these mummies concealing? How are they interred so deeply beneath the earth? Let's investigate the responses to these quarries. In this video, we'll show you the gruesome mummies that were discovered in Egypt, as well as the shady stories that they they're attempting to conceal from us. Let's take a deeper look at recent digs in Egypt to get a better understanding of how archaeologists who never left Egypt alone and were continually looking for fresh information about Egyptian history have helped us learn more about Egypt's past ages. Archaeologists were recently intrigued to learn more about the past of the mummies who buried these mummies so deeply without the aid of modern technology after discovering numerous horrifying mummies in Egypt deep in the dirt. Who are these mummies and what do they look like? Archaeologists were prompted to learn more about Egyptian mummies by the quarries. Archaeologists have discovered a vast cache of ancient coffins and mummies at the Sagarota site in Giza by extravagating layer by layer and moving each one bucket at a time. They have also discovered thick pipus papers and ceramic amulets that are thought to have been used in burial ceremonies. Former state minister for antiquities and Egyptologist Zahai Haras told the King Teti another fair and those who followed him for a thousand years after his death were worshipped at the site along with countless other items. He added the location, which is roughly 20 miles south of the capital of North African country, also contained the bones of King Tutankhamun's closest generals and advisors. About a network of underground rooms tucked 65 feet beneath the oldest pyramids in Egypt, Halls declared, I generally believe that this site is going to be the most important site in Egypt this year and next year. I usually say that we have discovered that that only 30% of our monuments are still visible. The other 70% are buried beneath the earth, he continued. According to Halls, whose team found nearly 300 coffins in the area of Teti's Pyramid this year, the majority of them in good condition, the discovery of so many new coffins in the area could be explained by the fact that Teti was worshipped as a god in the new kingdom and everyone wanted to be buried alongside him. Teti, who is thought to have ruled for about 12 years between 2300 and 2181 BC, was the first king of the ancient Egyptian Sixth Dynasty. Even though Teti's coffin is 4,300 years old, Hawes claimed that people continued to be buried close to him for more than 1,000 years after that because they wanted his protection. Archaeologists use x-rays on the unearthed mummies to estimate their ages at death, any illnesses they may have had while alive, and what may have killed them. Following meticulous restoration, teams start cataloging and archiving newly discovered artifacts. The Grand Egyptian Museum in Giza, which is scheduled to open next year, according to the museum's website, has been repeatedly delayed due to political unrest and lack of government funding. But according to Halls, the coffins and artifacts discovered at the site will probably be displayed there. Although the famed death mask and sarcophagus of the young king are still on exhibit at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, Halls noted that many Tutankhamun related items are also planned to be displayed there to promote tourism. British archaeologist Howard Carter found Tutankhamun's tomb in the Valley of the Kings in Luxor in 1922, almost 400 miles miles south of the site in Giza. Tutankhamun, who is said to have been a pharaoh when he was 8 or 9 years old, in or around 1334 BC, reigned until his death 10 years later, and is thought that he had several ailments and physical impairment, including a flat foot and circulatory issues and malaria. Carter found the tomb in nearly perfect condition, unaltered by grave robbers. He discovered four substantial shrines within and removed them using ropes. And under the shrines, he found the golden coffins, three coffins. He claimed, adding that among the 5,000 articles discovered in the burial chambers were jugs of beer and wine, in addition to a golden dagger to guard to the common in the afterlife. Gold was comparable to dust in ancient Egypt. According to Halls, who was unable to express the value of this inheritance to contemporary Egyptians. He responded as an archaeologist, I would say no if you paid me the entire sum of money from the United States and England. Everyone owns a piece of this heritage. 